Hello YouTube. So this video is for you if you have downloaded Soundflower and you realize that it's not doing you any good and you want to get rid of it or if you can't hear audio out of your computer anymore because it keeps trying to go to the Soundflower file thing right there. If you have two different things there called Soundflower, this video will be a lifesaver for you. It is the surefire way to get rid of this mess. So I tried to reinstall this application and show you guys how it works in this video, but it ended up not working out. So I will still show you how to do it. Just stay tuned to the end of the video and it'll all be work its way out. And it's three simple steps. And I tried uninstalling this six times, reinstalling it, restarting the computer. The most important part is to go to my description down below and try to download the file that I have placed there called Soundflower 1.6.6. Into that file, you will have a DMG, which will let you install Soundflower, which you have to do. It's the first step. I know you don't want anything to do with Soundflower. Just reinstall it, and it'll help the process of getting it gone for good. Once you reinstall Soundflower, you're going to go to two different files in your computer and delete things from there, and then click this uninstall script. That's the short synopsis of it. If you want to see each step in detail, stay tuned for the rest of the video and I will break it all down nice and slow. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this works out for you. After reinstalling Soundflower and rebooting my computer twice, they still didn't show up here so I'm not going to go out of my way to try to recreate this hellish issue but I will gladly show you how to do this in three simple steps. Save a lot of headache. So you're going to go to your finder you're going to click on the hard drive then click on system library and we are first gonna go to frameworks you're gonna wanna scroll down in frameworks until you find the name soundflower which I'll just say is this I know it's not soundflower but it's, it's gonna look like this on your computer and you're gonna find soundflower and you're gonna delete it if it's not there and you still have the two things right here reinstall the Soundflower from this DMG that I provided in the description down below. Then they will show up and then everything will delete correctly. After you delete it from there, what you're going to need to do to get the preferences is go up to your Go, hold down the Option key which is next to the Command key, and click on Library. There should be a file called Preferences in here. And if there's not, then call me a liar. Preferences. There it is. Once you find preferences, you're gonna to want to scroll all the way through this mess until you find system apple or com dot apple dot system preferences dot p l i s t. So com dot apple dot uh, system. We're getting close. S y s p system preferences p list. There it is. Once you find that, you'll delete that file too, just like the last one. Put it in your trash can and delete it. If it doesn't delete, just do it two more times and empty the recycle bin. Just, just try to get it out of there. After that, the last step is to open up the Sunflower uninstall script. The secret is to click on this run button up here and then type in your password, click OK, and then it'll say done down here. Once it says done down here, you're going to want to immediately restart your computer and pat yourself on the back because there's a 90% chance that they will no longer be Soundflower things there screwing up your audio. If this helped you out guys, please click subscribe, click the like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll try to help you out.